Hi, I'm Charmaine Lord, and today I will be doing a sweet potato and carrot soup. I may throw in some apples at the end. I'm still working on that thought. So let's start. I'm going to saute our onions. I have a sweet Vidalia onion here. Throw some olive oil in the pot. Get that nice and hot. This is a great uh, soup to have in your repertoire. If you don't have pumpkin and you want something nice and bright and orange, there's always sweet potato and carrot and some of the very same flavors that go with pumpkin, like nutmeg and a little sour cream or creme fraiche, is also great with sweet potato and carrot. And let's not forget ginger. Ginger and sweet potato, great combination. Ginger and carrots, also a great combination. My oil's good and hot, and now I can throw my onions in. Okay, now we're cooking. We're just sauteing the onions for five minutes till they become translucent. Next, I'll put in our carrots. Of course, you want to cut them all uniform, at least the same diameter. It doesn't really matter how you cut them because we're going to puree in the end. But the smaller, the quicker they'll cook. And the carrots will take a bit longer than the sweet potato, so I put those in first. Now we can add our sweet potato. This was two large sweet potatoes. And those were eight carrots, but somehow the potatoes look a lot more. That's all right. We'll let that cook down a bit. I'll go get stock. This is about a cup and a half. So we'll just keep adding till we get to about six cups. That should do it. And then cover and get it to boil down a bit. Here I'm grating some fresh ginger. And I will add that and the apples to my simmering pot of a sweet potato and carrot soup should round out the favors just swell. The apples will cook fairly quickly. I used a delicious apple. And we'll just add that and our ginger to the pot. A little salt, a little coarse salt. Let's say that's three spoons, generally. We'll know when we taste at the end. If we add that a little more, great. Okay, we can let that cook again. That'll cook for another 15 minutes. The whole thing, once your vegetables are peeled, under an hour. Just using the potato masher to break things up a little bit more, and then we'll use the immersion blender. Here goes. Now I'm just going to move our delicious carrot, sweet potato and apple soup into the terrine and maybe swirl a little cream on top of that. And if this is part of your holiday meal, you definitely want to present well. Although, even for everyday living, I think it's good to present well. Now I'm just going to swirl in a little cream. This is where I get to do my art. Oh. Gorgeous. And I think I need just one more little hit of nutmeg. Don't want to go too heavy on this very potent spice. Okay. And now I get to taste. I often serve uh, soup in a cup when I'm entertaining, especially if it's a big group. Perfect amount of apple. You taste everything. I'm loving all the flavors in the soup. The sweet potato, the ginger, the nutmeg, carrots. You can't go wrong. I'm Charmaine Lord. It's been really fun cooking with you, and it's time we dish up.